I'm about to show y'all the first 21 things you need to do with your Galaxy S22 Ultra as soon as you guys get it. Now the first thing I like to do when I first get new smartphones is I have to customize the name of my device so that way I know it's mine. So to do this all you guys have to do is go to your settings, go to about phone and right up on the top you guys should see this default name that they give but if you guys tap on it you can edit and change this name to whatever you guys want it to be. So for me let's go ahead and just name it C-Kid. Y'all already knew I was going to name it that but just go ahead and tap on done and then you're good to go now this is good for those people out there that are sharing things from your device connecting up the bluetooth devices and a whole lot more now this is just the first one that i have and i got 20 more things that we're gonna go through in this video for you guys to set up and uh let's go ahead and get it cracking now before we actually get into the rest man y'all already know what to do comment down below right now how many likes is on this video at the time that you guys are watching it and uh let's go ahead and run this video up man let's let's get it let's get this video to like let's say 20k views in a day so go ahead and share this video right now. <laughs> All right, so number 20, I like to set up my side key to my custom liking. Now, I have mine set here. If I double press it, it's going to quickly launch my camera app. Now, if I press and hold it, it's going to display the power off menu for me to be able to power off my device. So, to set this up, just go to your settings, go to advanced features, and then side key. Now, in here, you guys can actually change the double press as well as the press and hold feature to your liking. All right, y'all, so number 19, I like to set up my motions and my gestures on my device. So, to go ahead and set this up, just go to your settings go to advanced features and go to motions and gestures now in here you can turn on or off what you guys like now for me I like to actually make sure that I have my lift to weight turned on my double tap to turn on and off the screen also keep screen on while viewing is turned on alert when phone picked up is also turned on and then mute with my gestures are turned on as well so lift to wake y'all will wake your screen whenever you guys lift up your phone so that way you guys can quickly see like your notifications uh, if needed to be able to check that or just check your time now double tap to turn on and off off the screen it's pretty self-explanatory now keep screen on while viewing now I do this because if I'm viewing something and it can detect my eyes are actually looking at my screen it's not gonna turn off my screen which is clutch for me now the next one is alert when phone is picked up now this is gonna vibrate the phone whenever if you guys pick it up if you have a missed call or a text now this is crucial if you guys are out and about with friends or family stuff like that and you put your phone face down on the table and you might have missed a phone call or something like that with this simple gesture y'all it can let you know without even even looking at the screen when you pick it up because it's going to vibrate in your hands to let you know there's a notification there. Now the last one is mute with gestures which is similar to something you get on the Galaxy Watch 4 where if you guys are getting a phone call or a text message you guys can just put your hand right over on the screen and it's going to go ahead and mute the notification sound which is dope. Alright y'all so number 18 is setting up widgets on the lock screen that I want to personally see. So to do this just make sure your phone is in a lock state and press and hold on the clock right and then go ahead and scroll down and tap on settings button now in here you guys can choose if you want music uh weather bixby or whatever now for me y'all i make sure to include the weather as well as music playing on my lock screen and i also turn on show on always on display as well now number 17 y'all is setting up my display settings now go to settings display settings and in here go to motion smoothness and make sure you guys have it set to adaptive now this is going to let you get that smooth 120 hertz refresh rate when doing basic things like scrolling through your phone and just getting smoother animations versus the standard 60 hertz that's set in default and yes you will notice a difference now adaptive will use more battery life than the standard version will but i look at it like this y'all why would i actually buy a brand new phone like this top of the line phone and if i plan on suppressing its best features and to be honest y'all it's not gonna kill the battery that much now number 16 is easily setting up my screen resolution to the highest possible quality because samsung y'all as you guys know make the best screens in the game and yeah i want to see all of its crispiness in its full glory so in order to do this you want to go to your settings go to display settings then screen resolution and then set this to w quad hd now what's dope about this is with the new galaxy s22 ultra you can now set this in junction with the adaptive display settings that we just did now in the past you couldn't do this so to see this on the s22 ultra oh yeah y'all it's lit <laughs> all right y'all so number 15 has to deal with the camera and that is suggest the best feature so if you guys are not a pro photographer but you still you still want to be able to to get that dope clean shot now you can actually use this feature right here where it's going to provide you guys with guidance on framing to give you guys the most optimal shot 
possible, making you look like a pro photographer. So to do this, go ahead and open up your camera app, go to your camera settings and turn on shot suggestions. And just like that, you in there like swimwear. Now the next one, number 14, I wanna show you guys has to deal with the speakers. Now the speakers on here is already fine. They already sound good, but they can actually be better with Dolby Atmos. So you definitely wanna go ahead and go to your settings, go to sounds and vibrations, scroll down to sound quality and effects and turn on Dolby Atmos and Dolby Atmos for gaming. Trust me, it is the way. All right, y'all, so number 13 is just swipe gestures and removing these buttons at the bottom of your phone, which just makes it more user-friendly in my eyes and just makes it look way cleaner. So to get rid of this, just go to your settings, go to display, scroll down to navigation bar and turn on swipe gestures, and this will get rid of those icons at the bottom and just make it look way better and easier to be able to navigate in my personal opinion. Now, the next is number 12, and that is turning on accidental touch protection as well as touch sensitivity. Now, the reason you guys want to turn this on is because like I told y'all when using the Galaxy Watch 4 if you guys are actually putting a screen protector on your phone sometimes those screen protectors can really mess with the touch screen and just throw it off so turning this on lets your phone act like it doesn't really have anything on and it just acts like a normal phone should then you got accidental touch protection now this is actually good for when you guys are sliding your phone in and out of your pocket or something like that and you usually end up dialing the wrong number or the app end up opening and it's going to help you guys prevent that from happening so make sure you got both of these turned on and you're good to go all right y'all so number 11 is setting up your edge panels now this is going to be good for this little menu here that you see that slides out from the side of the screen as a quick way to be able to get to the apps that you use most so to turn this on just go to your settings go to display and scroll down to edge panels and turn this on now tap on it and then here you guys can choose whatever you guys want now i personally like the apps panel as well as the weathers one now right here on the right side of the screen this is where this feature is going to be now once you guys have it you can customize what applications you want in it just by going here and pressing and holding and dragging it to the side panel and that's it super clutch way y'all is a quick way to navigate your phone as well as customizing it to your liking now number 10 let's go ahead and customize our lock screen since this is something that we're going to be looking at literally every freaking day so to go ahead and customize this let's go ahead and go to our settings go to lock screen and let's go ahead and customize the clock style so in here guys you just want to choose the one that you guys like and then tap on done then another Another thing that I like to do is set up a message or a quote that's right underneath there and to do that you just go ahead and go to contact info and type in anything you guys want here now I personally put this message right here you don't have to worry about fitting in when you custom made now I love that quote man because I feel like it sums up me perfectly now once that's in there just go ahead and tap on done boom now it's on your screen and you're good to go all right y'all so number nine we're gonna be staying on this home screen here and that is setting up the quick shortcut buttons on your home screen to be whatever you guys want it to be so go ahead and go to your settings go to lock screen and shortcuts turn this on and then tap on it and in here you get the option to be able to set up and customize the left as well as the right icon so i like to set my left one as like my camera and then my right one as my phone so if we go back to the home screen you can press and hold and then just swipe and it's going to quickly launch either the applications that you guys have on both sides all right y'all so number eight is setting up my split screen combos in the edge panel so if you guys swipe let's go ahead and say that we have google here and we just want to tap on the top and then tap on open in a split screen view then go ahead and choose another application that you guys use most that you want to use in combination with that app and now you have the split screen that you like then just go ahead and tap on the three dots that's in the center and then tap on the little icon here that's going to save it to your edge panel it's that easy y'all to be able to access that again Super dope, and uh, yeah, definitely make sure you guys get that. All right, y'all, so number seven, y'all, is setting up your wallpaper and customizing the color palette icons, which is new with the S22 series. If you guys press and hold, you can find the wallpaper that you guys like, and then you set it as your wallpaper. But now what's cool is, right now, it's gonna ask you guys if you would also like to set the colors that's in that photo to your color palette for your icons that's gonna match the wallpaper, which is dope. So you go ahead and turn that on, and then uh, all of your applications and your stock icons is not gonna match the color that's on your wallpaper. All right, y'all, so number six, y'all, is protecting your privacy with the keyboard. So when you, over time, save a lot of stuff to your clipboard, you don't really want other applications to be able to have access to that information, at least without your knowledge, of course. So what I recommend is going into the settings, go to privacy, and turn on alert when clipboard is accessed. Now, this way, you guys will know when it is being used and when it's not being used, because it's gonna alert you when it is. <laughs> All right, y'all, so number 
number five is mainly going to be for my Galaxy S22 Plus as well as my Galaxy S22 Ultra users, and that is one-handed mode. Now, this is going to allow you guys to be able to do this with your device and to be able to navigate those larger displays with just one hand. So to set this up, just go to your settings, go to advanced features, and then scroll down to turn on one-handed mode and make sure this gesture is enabled. And now just swipe your finger down and it's going to bring up this tiny full screen of your phone to easily navigate it, which is really dope. All right, y'all, so number four, we getting there. Just, we, just bear with me, y'all. <laughs> and this one, y'all, is keeping your screen on while you are viewing something. So to turn this on, go to your settings, go to advanced features and motions and gestures, and then turn on keep screen on while viewing. So now the next time you guys are either reading something or you watching something on your screen, it's not just going to automatically go dark on you and then you got to unlock your phone again. Trust me, you, you don't want those problems. <laughs> All right, y'all, so number three has to deal with security. Now, did you know that your Galaxy device comes with a built-in antivirus security scanning software from McAfee or McAfee? McAfee, y'all know what I'm talking about. Now, if you guys go to your settings, go to battery and device care, device protection, and tap on the turn on button. Now, this is gonna scan your apps for any malicious activity that's not supposed to be there. Now, it's turned off by default, but I would say it's just a good little habit to be able to run this probably like once a month or so, just to make sure all good in the neighborhood. All right, y'all, so number two is kind of a hidden button that you might not even known even existed on this smartphone that you can set up and customize on your home screen. So, to go ahead and do this, you wanna go to settings, go to accessibility, advanced settings and then accessibility button and select action that you guys want to assign to it. Now, I personally like to set mine to be extra dim because this is a quick way for me to be able to dim my phone screen at night so that way it don't blind me and then I'm out here, you know, like, I can't see nothing. <laughs> All right, so the number one feature, y'all, and this is be able to go from an S Pen to text. Now, this is a feature that I like personally using whenever I just feel like writing on the screen, you know, for no reason. <laughs> now, this feature, y'all, is gonna allow you guys to write in a search bar or even in your text messages while using the S Pen, and it's gonna convert that into text, which is actually really dope. So to do this, just go to your settings, go to advanced features, go to S Pen, and turn on S Pen to text. Now, as a bonus, y'all, this is the last thing, is just to make sure my screen timeout is set to 10 minutes instead of the default 30 like 15 seconds now to do this just go to your settings go to display and scroll down to screen timeout and change this to 10 minutes now i do this because i don't really like my phone screen to just lock or just go dark when i'm doing something because for me i manually lock my phone all the time before i actually just sit it down now let me know down below man which one of these was your favorite and just some of the ones that you didn't even know about all right y'all i'll see y'all in the next one squad <laughs>